Lindsay, let me tell you, your words on the Ahmad Arbery case have been absolutely uh, on point and dare I say inspirational. Um, everything that you did with the run with Mod, I just want to applaud you and I want to get your take on some new information, okay? So we do begin with another big arrest in the case of Ahmad Arbery, a black man who was shot and killed in February while he was out for a jog. Now, the man who took this video that shows Arbery being chased down and shot multiple times was finally arrested yesterday. William Bryan Jr., who goes by Roddy, is being charged with felony murder and false imprisonment. Two other men, Gregory and Travis McMichael, have also been charged with Arbery's murder. We've been covering that. You heard those details from us earlier. Now, this morning, the Georgia Bureau of Investigation held a press conference and explained the murder charge against Roddy. Take a look. If you are committing a felony crime and that crime ends up in the death of another human being, then that's a felony murder. And so, uh, as the warrants indicated, he's charged with an underlying felony. He's also charged with felony murder. So, uh, we believe the evidence would indicate that his underlying felony helped cause the death of Ahmaud Arbery. Wow. Uh, amen. I want to see justice uh, for Ahmad. Um, Lindsay, you have had your finger on the pulse on this case from day one. What do you make of this new information? You know what? As soon as William Roddy Bryan realized that he was facing jail time, he went on this PR tirade and tried to garner sympathy from all of us and really instead insulted our intelligence. Him and his lawyer went on several news channels and said that he didn't know the McMichaels. They said that he was following a random car and happened to take a video, although the McMichaels police report called him Roddy. Who calls somebody by their nickname that they don't know? So it's really frustrating to me that he wants sympathy from all of us and really wants us to feel like he has no part in this and that his video was helpful in this case. Yes, it was helpful, but you did nothing to turn that over to the police. For three months, he sat on that video, didn't turn it to anybody, and it wasn't up to him to give it over. The lawyer of the McMichaels actually passed it over because he thought it would be helpful. And it, wa and it was helpful to people that want justice for Ahmad. So really, Ahmad Arbery would be alive if it wasn't for Gregory McMichael, Travis McMichael, and William Roddy Bryan. And just like they took his life away, we want to see their lives sitting in prison. Anybody who understands that we need to fight for justice because they won't just give it to us like normal human beings. I agree. Agree. And justice is going to have to run deep on this one, Jeff, because the police department there, the Glynn County Police Department, has a very tangled and corruptive history. That's according to NPR. Uh, do you think that everybody involved in this uh, case, Jeff, will finally see themselves behind bars? Yes, and I think justice is slowly being served in an awkward way. That video was meant, Roddy's trying to save his own butt. Yeah. I mean, let's just put it in black and white what it is and not to make it a racial issue, but that's exactly what it is, a racial issue, Sam. And I think justice is now being served because of that outrage, because of people like you, Lindsay, out there. Are, now we're seeing it. There, we, I don't think we would have saw this, Sam, had we not got the outrage and people like Lindsay to do this, but I think now we are seeing justice served. I agree, and I'm so happy, Lindsay, and I use that word carefully, but I'm just relieved to see that social media can, can do some real great social justice work, and I think it just highlights, too, again, white privilege. And I want everybody out there, if you benefit from the privilege of your skin color, to own it, to know that, because if you can... Uh, acknowledge that you can be part of the problem that we will not discriminate against others based on the color of their skin. Well, the president. And I want to really thank yes, you and please. Jeff. I want to thank I want to thank you and Jeff for joining. And I know Jeff has been on the air and said this is racist. I'm just going to call it out what it is. And you ran with us and have been very supportive and you know always support some things that Sean King has, has been doing. And it means a lot because I really had to call a lot of people that I know and say, hey, listen, your silence is not okay, especially in this moment. You know, a lot of people are hurting out here, and we really need you to have our backs in the same way that we have yours. Well said, Lindsay. It's uh, our I would say it's our civic duty, really, just as a human being. And just as friends, as people. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know? I know, I know. Well, the president was in Michigan yesterday. He toured a Ford plant.